Uh, hi, I'm teacher Victor. Um, the topic that uh, I would like to cover today is how should you approach open-ended science questions? Okay, um, normally when I teach, I would <coughs> propose to use the inquiry method. So what is the inquiry method? It means to ask questions on the experiment. Okay, that is to get a deeper and clearer understanding of what the experiment is all about. So the only way you can understand it at a deeper level is to ask, okay? And you ask inside your mind, you ask yourself, you know, what is this? Uh, what is that? Uh, what is, why, why do you have to cover the leaf with a black piece of paper? Does photosynthesis occur? Uh, what will happen when photosynthesis, photosynthesis occur? So you have to keep asking questions to get the deeper understanding of the experiment. Okay. Number two, write some notes or use annotations to mark out important ideas. Okay. Annotation skill is taught mainly in English uh, comprehension, but you can also use annotations for your science open-ended. Okay. So when you write down some notes or you annotate uh, some of the points as you read, uh, it gives you kind of like a clearer understanding of the whole idea behind the experiment. Okay. And last but not least, um, do write short sentences for your answers, okay? Uh, and also use the nouns that's given in the questions, okay? Like uh, leaf A or leaf B. Uh, try to avoid pronouns as they often cause a lot of misconceptions, okay? So uh, later I will show you uh, how you can apply these three points uh, in answering uh, science open-ended questions, okay? Today's lesson will be uh, to continue what uh, I have taught uh, previously, okay? So today's objective will be to learn about inquiry and annotation in answering science open-ended questions, right? Basically, inquiry is to ask questions when you look at the experiment inside the question. This to help you understand uh, at a deeper level so you can answer, answer the question to the right concepts, okay? Yeah, okay, let's look at, take a look at the question. Uh, okay, uh, this is a, a, a sample question which I have done with one of my ex-students. Yeah, okay, basically it's about an experiment where you put a plant uh, inside uh, a clear glass container Okay, so I'm going to ask some questions and I will do some annotations just to show you how uh, inquiry can be infused with annotation in uh, looking at the question, okay? So uh, basically what you may see that uh, there's a clear glass container over here, okay? Yeah, so clear glass container means uh, that light can enter, yeah. So I'll put here, I'll probably light, okay? Yeah, light can enter. Okay, so if light can enter, what will happen to the plant? Okay, if light can enter, then um, the plant, okay, will be able to photosynthesize. Okay, so if the plant is able to photosynthesize in the presence of light, um, it will take in carbon dioxide <coughs> and release oxygen, okay? Yeah, so this is uh, the understanding I have about the experiment here. So what's with the airtight cover? What is it for? Well, the airtight cover is to ensure that uh, no gas or air or no air can escape. Okay, no air can go escape. No air can escape. Okay, yeah. Okay, so what about this lime water? Uh, lime water is to test, test for what? Test for presence of carbon dioxide gas. Okay, um, in this particular experiment, um, we see that because the container is clear, so light can enter and therefore the plant can photosynthesize, right? So it releases oxygen and takes in carbon dioxide during the process. So the lime water will not turn milky or chalky because there is no gas or no carbon dioxide gas being released. Okay? It will not turn uh, not turn chalky. 
Okay, yeah. So I just put a, a note there, right? Or you can say it's like annotation. Uh, just annotate a bit. Okay, yeah. Uh, so this is the process of uh, uh, looking at the questions uh, with uh, inquiry and uh, annotation. Okay, okay. Let's look at the second part. Okay, now um, he repeated the same experiment, but this time he used a wire mesh. So the wire mesh will allow air to pass through. Yeah. So I just put a note over there. Yeah, just annotate the bit. Huh? Yeah. And then uh, in this case, he re replaces the plant with a mouse. So we know that even though the clear glass container where the light can enter, uh, there is no photosynthesis. All right. The mouse will basically respire. Okay, it will respire. So what happens when you respire, it gives up CO2, carbon dioxide. But even though the mouse gives up CO2, the CO3 is able to pass through the wire mesh, right? So the CO2 can pass through the wire mesh. Therefore, the lime water okay, will remain clear. It will remain clear because there is no carbon dioxide inside the container. It passes through the wire mesh. Okay, so this is an example of how uh, I would use inquiry to ask questions and at the same time um, do a little bit of note taking and annotation on the experiment itself. So when I when I do this, I actually have a very deep understanding of what the experiment is all about, and therefore when I answer the question, uh, it will be uh, easier, and I have all the concept keywords over there. Okay, so this will be the end of this uh, shot.